Okay, let's look at a even better way to restore a configuration file. Okay, so what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to I have a configuration file on my router. I've just done a um, show run command. I'm in privileged exec mode and you can see here that I have my configuration file, right? Okay, well what I want to do is I'm going to copy this file. So I'll just copy all the text from the terminal and I'm going to start copying it from hostname where I've changed the hostname of the router to dans-r1. So I'll just do that copy, right? And now I want to find um, a text editor, right? So let's see if they have a text editor that we can use. There's a text editor that we can use right here. And I'll just do file or right click and paste. And then I've just pasted my configuration into a text editor in Packet Tracer. It's a virtual text editor here. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to change where it says banner of the message of the day. I'm going to um, change the characters to make them correct as if I was issuing the command. Okay. So I'll change that back to two pound signs. And then under my Ethernet configuration, I'm preparing this to recover from a text file my, um, my configuration. So with my Ethernet, what I'll do is after speed auto, I'll say no shutdown. Okay, I'm going to put in the no shutdown command into the text file. And then on my serial interface, which I've configured, you can see it here because it's got a description on it. It's got the IP address configured. I'm also going to type here no, oops, no shutdown. So I've got no shutdown on the Ethernet, no shutdown on the serial. That looks good. Okay, up at the top it has host name. And if I wanted to, I could actually put extra configurations right in here if I wanted to. If I wanted to change, let's say, the password here of Line Console 0 from Cisco to, um, let's say, um, just let's call it password. Just, I don't recommend this. I'm just saying password. The name is, we'll call it, actually, we'll call it Cisco Pass. How about that? Okay, so password is Cisco Pass. So I've just changed that, and I'll change this one too. All right. And if I wanted to, I could put in more commands, that kind of thing. All right, I'll save this. And I'll call it Dan's config2. All right, so I've saved that file. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this. All right copy it and I'm going to open up notepad on my computer and paste it right into notepad all right and you can see it's in there all right now the reason for this is this virtual text editor in packet tracer the um, it has formatting or markup in the text and it doesn't allow you to copy the text cleanly and paste it into the router and that's what we're going to do we're going to paste it right into the router so I'm going to highlight all this again and do a control C to copy. And now, from the router, let's connect to our router. And what we'll do is we'll erase the startup config. So our configuration file will be erased. And then we'll reload the router. All right, so we're reloading the router. And we should be met with a router with no configuration. Okay, I'll hit no for the system configuration dialog wizard. Hit return to enter and you can see that the router's host the host name for the router, the router name has changed from Dan's router to just back to router the default and there's no password, right? If I type enable and do a show run the configuration is gone, right? Configuration's gone. So what I'll do is I'll do a configure terminal and then what I'll do is I'll just paste my configuration right into the terminal 
and you can see it it paste right in into the global config mode terminal and you can see as it's pasted in directly as soon as this is pretty cool as soon as um, it was pasted in you could see that the serial interface changed to up automatically and the Ethernet interface changed to up as soon as it was pasted in. Why? Because I actually put in my text editor the no shutdown um, text so that it pastes in just like as if I was pasting in the as if I was entering the commands. So as soon as it's put in, everything goes up, and all I have to do now is do a copy run tab, running config to STA tab startup config, and now I've recovered my configuration file from a text file back into the router and of course this is done virtually through packet tracer but you can do the same thing on an actual router through putty or hyper terminal or something like that